Hi, welcome to this video, David. It's all on the Fibonacci number sequence, and it's used by traders um, to see if they can find areas of support or resistance in the market that might hold or break. Now, the actual number sequence itself is very, very old and dates back to the 13th century when a guy called Leonardo Fibonacci solved a problem, and it was a mathematical problem about exponentially increasing numbers and was based on a hypothetical question. If you've got a pair of rabbits and they produce a pair of rabbits and from the next month the pair that's produced produces another pair of rabbits, you've obviously got an exponential increase. And he actually was the first person to get the actual equational number sequence of, of an exponential increase. Now, today, this number sequence is used in Forex trading. And a lot of people actually put great weight on Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci numbers. But you can see they've come from a problem that was actually nothing to do with Forex. But today, Forex traders seriously think that the Fibonacci number sequence works in Forex. Not only that, is they see it as some sort of divine law. You, you know, you'll hear a lot of Forex traders say, well, you know, the number sequence can be seen throughout nature, um, which is true. But what has that got to do with Forex? It's got absolutely nothing to do with Forex. If you were to try the Fibonacci retracements, you'll see sometimes they break, uh, sometimes they hold. I mean, they're not accurate all the time. If it is a scientific system, which Fibonacci people claim, then it would work all the time, not just some of the time. And we've run various tests to use Fibonacci retracements, then skew the number up or down a bit. And sometimes our random number has beaten the Fibonacci sequence and sometimes it hasn't. But it's the dumbest way of trading Forex. And you see people seriously think that these numbers should just be significant when the Forex market is actually traded by humans. They don't conform to any law of nature. They're emotional beings. Now, if you've ever considered Fibonacci, please discard this ridiculous strategy. It doesn't work. The logic of it is obviously not true. And it's actually a surprise that so many traders take it seriously. But not only do they take Fibonacci seriously, they take two other theories seriously, which use the Fibonacci number sequence. And they are, of course, um, GAN and Elliott Wave. Again, these two systems claim to be scientific and can predict the future. Well, if that's the case, how come William GAN, uh, for example, had to sell courses to make a living and couldn't live from trading? This was confirmed by his son, uh, actually in the book, uh, I think it was Trading for a Living by Alexander Elder. And if you take Elliot, Elliot never made any money, despite the fact that he knew the future. So, you know, traders take these, these wacky theories seriously, but they don't stand up. They, they claim to be scientific. They can't be scientific because they don't work all the time. Scientific theories work all the time. So discard these wacky theories. Get yourself a simple theory based around trading the odds. There are no certainties. And the actual theory I'd recommend you study, which really is a good one, is Dow theory. It may not be as mystical as the ones I've just discussed, but it will help you make a lot more money and uh, get you on the road to trading success. So thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.